What is the difference between nature and culture? To answer this question, we need to look at the work by Ian Hacking. Ian Hacking is a philosopher who developed a theory of social reality. He was born in 1936 and still teaches at the University of Toronto and the Collège de France. His major works include The Emergence of Probability, The Social Construction of What, and Historical Ontology. How does our culture shape the meaning of our behavior? Human beings are made in and through social reality. Hacking argues that we act under descriptions in life. For example, when we say phrases such as, he is shooting a free throw, or Congress is passing a law, or the burglar was charged with breaking and entering, we know what these descriptions mean. Hacking says there are two ways we interact with classifications found in culture and nature. He calls these interactions looping causations. According to Hacking, humans create these categories and then cause themselves to act in certain ways under the descriptions of these categories. For example, consider masculine and feminine stances. In culture, Hacking argues that there are interactive kinds. These are kinds that have a looping causation by classification. The first way for interactive kinds to loop is directly. This is when I know of some category and I choose to act under the description. For example, one chooses to act like a man or act like a woman. These also include directly acting under descriptions while playing sports. The second way for interactive kinds to loop is indirectly. This indirect looping can be created by institutions. Basically, a group or organization wants society to act in a certain way. They establish institutions to make people act that way. An example would be how elementary students are expected to act in the classroom. Hacking argues that nature is different from culture because things that are natural are what Hacking calls indifferent kinds. Indifferent kinds do not have looping causations and do not care how we interact with them. Examples include atoms, rocks, or quirks. Hacking notes that nature can be defined as natural kinds. So what is the difference between nature and culture? Nature consists of indifferent kinds such as atoms, quarks, or rocks, which just interact causally and usually admit of formulaic representation. Some forms of nature can have a looping causation, which Hacking calls biolooping. An example of an indifferent kind biolooping is the water cycle. Culture is made up of interactive kinds. Humans are aware of how they are classified and interact with these categories. The result is that social construction is a two-way street. Hacking concludes that human culture is a kind of moving target for the social sciences.